the players were told to accept that relegation is a certainty by manager Jim Gannon. The Saturday's home defeat by Coventry kept them rooted to the bottom of the championship. The list of playoff hopefuls Sheffield United to London Road was sure to test their result to prove him wrong. Not much went right for Gannon's opposite number Kevin Blackwell in the first half. Injuries forced the Sheffield United boss to make three substitutions with Ched Evans' broken collarbone by far the most serious. Posh took the game to their opponents early on. Blades goalkeeper Mark Bunn produced a smart save to foil Dominic Green. Five minutes before the break, the home side took the lead. Midfielder Charlie Lee's close range header was pushed under the bar by Bunn. But Craig McCarr Smith was on hand to score his ninth goal of the season in all competitions. Peterborough came close to doubling their lead, but Aaron McLean failed to add to his nine goals this season. The Blades rarely threatened. When they did, the posh defence held firm. But the players were reluctant to accept their manager's declaration regarding the drop. Peterborough kept pushing for a second goal, but Tommy Rowe blazed his shot high and wide. Chris Morgan almost saved a point for the Blades in stoppage time, but Peterborough held on. Now ten points from safety. Perhaps escaping relegation isn't yet mission impossible. I thought it was a good atmosphere tonight in the change room before the match, and uh, I felt really positive because the, despite you know having to come in Monday morning and pick ourselves up after defeat and loads of injuries and illnesses again, we kind of adapted ourselves and. Uh, you know, we worked on something and the lads went out and really gave it a good fist tonight and they deserved to win. To lose three players before half time, uh, Jed Evans is not a bit with a, you know, looks like a fractured uh, collarbone, uh, and Warden and uh, Williamson both pulled hamstrings. So uh, it was just trying to reorganise the team all the time and uh, it was just one of those things, I'm afraid.